So as you know that the reverse phase chromatography is widely used separation technique for analysis of pharmaceuticals, but that doesn't mean that it has no challenges to be solved. And when you talk about uh, basic compounds, which is again the 70% of the drug substances are basic in the nature, the pigtailing is going to be a number one challenge when you use the reverse phase liquid chromatography. So how this triethyl amine is going to help us to resolve this pigtailing issue? What is the impact of triethyl amine in case if you use that in the, modif in the mobile phase as a modifier? Hi, my name is Bhaskar Napte. I am the founder of Pharma Growth Hub. And this platform helps many pharmaceutical professionals to get the absolute clarity on various such technical topics and also to accelerate their career growth. So in case if you are interested to uh, accelerate your career growth with the confidence, do join the Pharma Growth Hub today. You will find the more details into the description below in case if you are watching this video on YouTube. So let us now understand how this triethyl amine is certainly going to help us in reducing, let us say, the retention time or the pigtailing for the basic compound. And this can happen with the very first point, the reduction into the selenol effect. So what is meant by selenol effect? See, we are talking about the uh, reverse phase liquid chromatography where our stationary phase is going to be non-polar in the nature like C8 or C18. Now this C8 or C18 stationary phase is called as a bonded stationary phase and you need to use the base material to the bonding happens like silica. So silica is used as the bonding material and the silica comes with the free selenol groups or SIOH. Now this SIOH are uh, actually gets replaced by the C8 or C18 linkages. But does the reaction happen 100%? Does all silica, uh, I mean, does all silanol groups will get uh, bind with the C8 or C18? Absolutely not. So there is going to be almost 50% of the free silanol groups present onto any given C8 or C18 stationary phase, unless and until it is not the end capped stationary phase. Because in end cap process, you are further binding the uh, selenol groups and the selenol groups may get further reduced. But I'm talking about a stationary phase which is not end capped. In such a situation, you will have 50% of the free selenol groups and the selenol groups are nothing but SIOH. So when the selenol groups stays into the ionization state like SiO minus, now it is called as ionization state of the selenol groups. So the triethyl amine can interact with this ionized selenol group at the higher affinity so that the other compound cannot interact with the selenols. So what is the problem with the selenols? You know that because the selenol groups can also interact with the protonated bases. Now what is the ion present? What is the charge present onto the selenol groups? You can see that it is SiO minus. And what is the charge present onto the protonated base? It is always the plus. So this minus charge present onto the selenol can attract to the plus charge present onto the basic compound. And because of that, the, com the basic compound will certainly get interacted with the selenol group also. Your intention is for to get the separation partition happening with the C8 or C18 functional groups. But in addition to that, the selenol groups will also help in the retention of this protonated basic compound. And this is called as the secondary effect. But what happens in case if you add the triethyl amine into a mobile phase, right? Triethyl amine is also a brace now. And this triethyl amine will also get protonated. It becomes a quaternary amine now. This quaternary amine carries a positive charge. And uh, this quaternary amine has a higher affinity towards the selenol groups. And because of that, this weak basic compound will not get any chance to interact with the selenol groups. Rather, this triethyl amine, which is now protonated, will go and sit along with the selenol group so that the secondary interaction of your protonated basic compounds gets uh, reduced. But this requires, you know what, this requires a low pH. 
because your triethylamine should get protonated. And in the lower pH, your basic compound will also have into the protonation stage. But because of that, as the secondary interaction gets avoided of for your basic compound, the band dispersion of the compound will get reduced. Because prominently now, in this case, whatever uh, partition is going to happen of the compound with the stationary phase is only because of your C8 or C8 in non-polar stationary phase. Isn't it? And because of that, the dispersion of the band will get further decreased. So, uh, in case if uh, there is no interaction possible of your protonated base with the selenol groups, that you can understand that now the interaction of the compound with the C8 or C8 in stationary phase is only the source for its retention time. Now, whatever additional retention time was possible because of selenol effect was already been nullified, reduced because of the triethylamine. And because of this, because of this one reason, you can expect that the protonated basic compounds can have the now lower retention time as compared to if the triethylamine is not present into a mobile phase. So you can understand that the, the presence of triethylamine actually reduces the retention time of the ionized basic compound where the stationary phase without an end cap is used. Now without an end cap means what? So if the mobile, if the stationary phase is already been end capped, that means there are no much selenol groups available. So the impact of triethylamine may not be seen or sometimes uh, the triethylamine may not be required as a part of your mobile phase uh, modifier. But for the non-ionized compound, as uh, this non-ionized compound never interact with the selenol groups. So if you add triethylamine, there is no going to be much impact onto their retention time. So the retention time of a non-ionized compound will not get impacted just because of addition of triethylamine. So this is the first reason how the pigtailing of your alkaline compound get minimized in presence of the triethylamine in a mobile phase. It also under, need to understand that the retention time of uh, basic compound can also get reduced in presence of triethylamine and we discuss what is the reason behind that. The second effect that triethylamine can bring in the presence of mobile phase is the ion pairing effect. In acidic pH, this triethylamine is going to be a quaternary amine which is called as a triethyl ammonium cations and I have represented into a uh, structure over there but this is just for the understanding okay so you can see the the plus charge onto the nitrogen and that becomes the quaternary ammonium uh, salt the non-polar ethyl group from triethyl amine interacts with the non-polar c8 or c18 group of the rplc column with the principle of like attracts like so this opposite i mean not opposite charges but the non-polar attracts non-polar so C8 or C18, we all know it is a non-polar stationary phase. And now what is the nature of this uh, hydrocarbon C2H5 chain? It is again the non-polar in the nature. And because of that, this C, uh, C8 or C18 phase will actually get binded with this non-polar end of your uh, triethyl amine. And with this, now can we expect that this positively charged N plus will actually get embedded onto the C8 or C18 stationary phase and that way your stationary surface looks like to be a polar now. It looks like a positively charged stationary phase which is a polar in the nature. And, and that's what the, the first step in achieving the ion pairing now. So what is going to happen? In case if you have the uh, ionized acid, acidic compound A- minus. Right, A minus is a charge present onto the ionized acid. So this A minus and this N plus is opposite in the charge. And because of that, these opposite charges are going to attract each other. And hence this ionized acidic compound can interact with the this positively charged stationary phase 
and hence the retention of this ionized acidic compound can get increased only in the presence of protonated triethylamine. However, the retention time of ionized base BH plus gets decreased in the presence of protonated triethylamine. Now there is no opposite charge because the charge present onto the stationary phase is also positive and the charge present onto the uh, protonated base is again positive and they are going to repel each other rather than attraction and hence the elution of the protonated base is going to be faster uh, as compared to the uh, ionized acidic compound. And no change in the retention of a neutral compound can be observed in presence of protonated triethylamine. As the, pro the neutral compound doesn't carry any kind of charge and in the absence of such a charge, the, uh, the repulsion or attraction is not going to be a possibility and hence the retention time of neutral compounds will not get impacted whether there is a presence of triethylamine or whether there is absence of triethylamine. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you must have understood the role of triethylamine in the mobile phase. Thank you. Keep learning.